Hey everyone. So today I'm uh, going to live stream contributing to Angular and Lumberjack. So I had some PRs which is pending from some time and I want to just complete it. So uh, the Angular PR which I'm working on is some uh, addition to the docs. So I was updating the universal doc which uh, which had some less information so I thought let's add few more information to the documentation and there are some PRs uh, review comments which are pending so let's go ahead and see my branch I think I had updated it long back and uh, hey Vimal hey thanks for joining so let me just check which branch I was in so because it's been quite a quite time so update SSR docs so we'll move to this update SSR docs so first thing which I have to do is I have to actually go ahead and update or rebase this branch with master to just to avoid a lot of uh, unexpected merge commits or uh, unexpected uh, conflicts so I'll just update the branch first so let's see Just go back to this folder, Revelin File Explorer. I uh, hope you can hear me. So, but uh, Vimal, can you just confirm if you can hear me? I mean, I'm doing it for first time on Twitch, so just want to confirm. Thanks, thanks a lot. Okay, so let's update the uh, update my branch. So I'll just take upstream git fetch upstream master, and these are two commands which uh, which we have to run to rebase everything from master to my branch. So there won't be any uh, conflicts in future. So when I when I raise this particular PR, so thankfully there are no conflicts because of course no one is working on this thing right now uh, I'm, I'm the one who is taking care of uh, updating the docs for SSR and universal uh, sorry yeah, universal so let's see where I had left so okay I, I think I am done with this this is outdated so I think this is also done this is outdated these are all commits of course documentation uh, doing documentation is of course uh, sometimes a little bit complicated in case uh, it's a complicated functionality I would say and uh, yeah so George has left this comment so he's saying uh, you should remove okay you should add pre-rendering first and then universal okay let's go ahead and do that so first thing which I have to do is I will remove I'll just to git reset uh, because uh, in angular uh, when you open a PR or when you merge something so you have to actually push a single commit so what I have to do is I will just do git reset hard one because I just want to go back to one commit which I have already pushed and make my changes as part of the single commit so I'll just go back by using this command and now let's go ahead and see uh, the comments uh, which George has given so mm, uh, this will be a great addition could you please expand okay cool so commit mat okay uh, expand a bit on what commit does this uh, does in the commit message okay I'll just update but okay so here I'll just go back to this file which file is this let's pull approve dot yaml so let's find out this file and pre-rendering uh, yes but, uh, we so when we, uh, video is lagging a bit uh, okay I'm not sure say hi uh, gamer uh, probably uh, let me check if I am running something else it happens because of course I'm doing uh, SD stream so that's why I chose UB, uh, OBS because StreamYard does not allow me to to SD streaming and it, it's, it's available but it's a little bit costly I mean 
little bit above uh, is the single uh, single commit guideline from angular team yes uh, Vimal. so it's this is the guideline from angular team so i mean i've been uh, doing several uh, prs from a long time and this is this is what uh, what I learned when I was doing my first PR, so I was not aware of rebase and everything, right? Uh, because I never did it. So, uh, of course, the Angular team guided me how you can do that, and that's what they be, they have been following. And uh, recently, I'm sh I'm sure you might have uh, uh, learned about the GitHub uh, Angular uh, in, uh, Angular contribution documentation, which was done by uh, I think. Yeah, so I think it's updated on the docs itself. So there is a there is an entire documentation ability. Uh, so there is a link which is shared. Let me check what is this. Oh. Fix up commits. Okay. Uh, so feature first, second, then what you can do is fix up commits. Okay, this is something which I have not seen so far so okay so you can use git commit with fix up and okay this is cool so I don't have to do rebase every time this is cool thanks thanks a lot so let's see so a key right so a key uh, dev dev or a key dev this is the twitter handle of dev so he just recently uh, wrote the documentation on how you can contribute to angular so i think it should be available here getting started or why is angular tried deploying understanding developer guide shouldn't be there best practices and references example content yeah this is content uh, contributors guide so uh, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can find this uh, content contributors guide uh, available here so it's it has overview or uh, how you can review the content uh, so this is and updating search keywords this is something which got added recently documentation style guide so in case you want to refer it you can actually go ahead and do that as well and this is cool I mean uh, this I, I was not aware of fix up because I've been using this command from a long time so let's go ahead and fix this so it's uh as per george he says uh, pre-rendering should be first and then universal which is what 559 okay so this is strange because uh, this is pull up proof aio guide looks like a spelling mistake to me otherwise Oh no, it's okay, right? So pre-rendering should be first. So I'll just move it. And then universal. This is what is needed. So Okay. So this was first command and then uh there is universal.md which where George says uh, for consistency with other S3 headings so you have to use scripts and useful scripts double, uh, okay so as a small and universal.md let's go back useful ah, sorry I have to open universal.md and okay, so useful scripts and then uh, the web worker guide is already included in tutorial section uh, i think this came unintentionally because i don't want you to add guide web workers i think this is something which happened during probably merging okay, uh, i think you can also use commit suggestion button from github UI and then just put, pull the changes from the branch oh, this is nice I generally uh, use this command line and I've been as I said I mean I've been using this this command from a long time so I'll just I'll move on I mean I'll try I'll try this in future but a fix up looks good I mean I don't have to rebase so okay so let's see where I mean I'm not sure why I did this because I think this is just a 
this something which happened during merge commits which file is this so navigation.json and it should be guide so the word is already included yes and i have included it again on 618 so let's see 618 line number okay so I'll just remove it also similarly server side rendering guide is already included in angular tools okay So it's 535. This is where this is. So let's remove this as well. And is there anything else? So navigation.json guide pre rendering. Okay, render HTML. And there are some suggestions for, I think, just related to grammar 397. I had this PR from a long time, so I just want to wrap it up. And if you see, it's it's I think I raised this PR last year. It's been a year now. So it's render HTML server side or okay pre-render html server side with angular universal or render html server side at build time with angular universal i think pre-render html server side with angular universal sounds good so i'll keep this one and there are a few more okay so load, let's load it uh, this is little leading pre-rendering is not only for static pages i think just pre-rendering would be preferable i think yeah i agree so it's not only for static pages so Let's see, I'll just change it to pre-rendering. Pre-rendering static pages, I'll say pre-rendering. Is that enough? Pre-rendering. Title is pre-rendering, I think it's enough. I don't have to change anything else. And what else? Uh, so npm run serve dev this command is similar to ng serve so what george suggests this command is similar to ng serve okay and then we have reference to cli command which offers live reload during development but uses server side rendering the application will run in watch mode and refresh the browser after every change so i had, uh, but uses server side rendering. okay this is what george added and this command is slower than ah this is really important to uh, understand that whenever you do this npm run dev ssr it's slower than the normal ng serve so yeah let's change this so i'll just go back to universal.md okay and this is this links uh, this is this is a markdown syntax i'm sure most of you are aware so let's see what else we have and then uh, useful scripts okay this is something already changed so useful useful as small and then these headings do not look very good i suggest using a bulleted list okay so npm run dev ssr npm run build ssr okay let's see npm run build ssr npm run dev ssr so i have used i think h4 here npm run uh, so for all the commands what george is suggesting is you should go ahead and use bulleted list okay uh, this is also where you can use uh, something called markdown preview uh, but it really helps me uh, whenever i'm doing something for documentation so i have this uh, Extension, uh, this extension installed so I can just go ahead and check if it works or not so you can see it is changed uh, to bulleted list and I should put it in single quotes that's this is what it ma will make it look like a command so let's go ahead and see uh, where is single quotes 
Oh, sorry, uh, you have to use stick. Ah, cool. So change this single quotes. I think it makes sense because it's not a separate heading. It's it's actually th the list of commands which we have. So putting it in bulleted list is much better for readers as well. And so okay, so now next what what we have is npm run build ssr use this command to build the application for deployment in production mode this is shortcut for ng build hyphen fn prod and ng run app name serve production so this is what we generally do in ssr or in case you are using universal so we do npm run build ssr to build your uh, application in prod mode so let's see what uh, jaw says so jaw says this command uh, okay so the command needs to be updated to ng build and ng run app name server okay so this needs to be changed as well uh, the second sentence this is shortcut does not add much for example most users are unlikely to know what ng run app name server production does and that information is easy to find in package.json anyways in case we decide to keep them omit the broad flag on the master branch Okay, let's see what this PR is. I think 41173 update docs to refill production mode by default. Uh, okay, so in Angular uh, 12, it is going to. I'm, I'm sure you might have read about this, but uh, production mode will be default now in uh, Angular CLI 12. So this command is uh, this command builds both the server script and the application in production mode. Use this command when you want to build the project for deployment. The command needs to be updated to ng build and ng run app name server so i have to do this rather than actually uh, doing npm run build ssr so let's go ahead and change this okay this is for npm run. okay so not this one but this one build ssr and let's change check Yeah, looks good to me and what else we have so npm run service i think this is also same so uh, i also add this command assume you already run build ssr i find the sentence little confusing it sounds like the command will run on the server on local machine even if you run it on a remote machine okay this is clearly not the case so if the command runs the server script on the machine that is invoked on then the sentence does not explain why not to run it on remote machine okay have to just either remove it uh, or to rephrase something like this note that this command is intended to use for testing the server side rendered application locally yeah makes sense i mean this is uh, this command which npm run as serve ssr it actually uh, just serves the angular universal application locally for i think i have already mentioned this is for testing and you should not execute but um, okay cool. so i'll just keep this note this command is intended to be used for testing the server side render application locally so i'll not mention anything else what else we have so in pre-rendering as of the univers angular universal 9 you can now pre-render the static pages as part of build using the guest parser okay since this guide will only appear on new version of the docs i don't think makes sense because when i was writing it it was for it was angular 9 which was getting released so now we have angular 12 which was supposed to be released so i'll just skip this uh, pre-render okay so pre-render static pages doesn't sounds confusing okay i'll just yep makes sense if we mention the guest parser here we should include a link uh, this is not widely known tool but do we always have to use guests i thought that is possible to use pre-rendering without guests if that's the case we should make it clear to avoid confusion so let's see in addition we should also mention that this assumes you have added ssr capabilities to your app uh, i was going to mention i guess versus implementation as is an implementation detail which users shouldn't really care about and shouldn't be documented okay makes sense so i'll just uh rephrase this so let's go back to pre-rendering hmm angular uh, as of you can now pre-render static pages as part of build using guest parser so 
so it's a pretender the static pages again mm. so let's say okay angular universal allows you to pre-render pre-render the pages okay so i think this should be good enough because i'm not mentioning which version but i'm just mentioning okay it allows you to pre-render the pages and no guest parser so let's see Uh, code example bash so okay i think using sh's language is preferable since bash is unnecessarily specific okay cool so pre-rendering dot take here so i have to change this to sh and then what we have uh, when you add pre-rendering to your application the following build options are available routes define okay so i have to oh so as let's see single quotes and similarly define an array of additional routes to pre-render define an okay so Alan says define an array of additional routes to pre-render okay so what I had uh, mentioned is define the array of routes to pre-render but it's like additional makes sense so let's change this and I have missed the full stop let's see what's next we have i think it should be done for others as well guess routes and routes file i hope options are same i'm uh, i mean i'm revisiting this doc after a long time so angular 9 to angular 12 So what we have here is when you add pre-rendering to your application the following build options are available routes gets routes so uh, the comments are on this part so routes guess routes by default angular uses the guest parser to guess the routes and pre-render the pages by passing whether builder should extract routes and guess which paths render default or true okay so george says this and ellen has a short one i think this let's use this one so guess routes where the builder should extract routes and guess which paths to render defaults to true makes sense i mean i'm not uh, as we already discussed right we shouldn't be mentioning guess parser anywhere so i'll just keep this one and then we have route files specify a file that contains a list of all routes so okay Alan ha don't have any suggestions here but uh, George has one so specify a route file specify a file that contains a list of all routes so this is something which is available in angular universal so you can hey Lars thanks for joining uh, so this is uh, this is something which you can do you can actually pass a file with list of all the routes to pre-render so uh, this is a functionality which is available and so last I'm just doing my actually pending PR so I was I was getting bored I mean just to do it uh, personally so I thought of doing live stream like uh, and I'll be able to actually complete this PR as well and after this I'm going to do another one for lumberjack Okay, specify file that contains a list of all routes to pre-render separated by new lines. This option is useful if you have a large number of routes. So this is uh, this is an interesting one route files and in case you have never used uh, Angular in as well. So uh, you can actually pass a file but in case you want to automate this you have large number of uh, routes and you don't know which route to be generated. Maybe you want to get this information from let's say database. You can write your own custom script as well generate a file and then fi pass this file as an option that's that's also available but uh, I mean uh, you can also go ahead and use Kali rather than actually doing this and uh, so so for everyone who is uh, who's live so uh, Lars is also doing uh, live streaming uh, uh, which he does at night and you can follow him on Twitch 
uh, I have watched two uh, two live streams uh, related to Angular elements. Really interesting stuff. So go ahead and subscribe to his channel. So here we have pre-rendering dot md. So provide all rights, uh, all uh, sorry, providing additional routes and ah, so, so I made a spelling mistake, which I make a lot. what else we have so, so while running the pre-render command you can provide additional routes for example this okay so i have to just change it to bash to sh and then we have wooden hyphen fn routes product one product to work that is without having to repeat routes yes it will work i think ah uh, uh, probably i can remove another routes I have to just make sure that there is a space and then hyphen slash product to okay so last time using OBS so I, I, I just switched on um, I mean uh, of course StreamYard does not allow you to actually do SD streaming it's it's I think experimental for few days or like it's it's available for few days you can try it out but uh, after that you have to switch back to 720p so that's why I decided to actually set up this OBS I was trying Streamlab uh, OBS as well, which has a lot of built-in themes, uh, but I ended up with OBS because I, did, I wanted to set up my all scenes by myself. Okay, so providing all rights via, via file. So I believe uh, AKDev is not a big fan of using via in docs. Okay, cool. This is actually incorrect when using the route file. This is not exclusive, meaning that these routes will be merged with ones provided with route option and those which have been guessed. Okay, so uh, how I should refresh it? Providing additional routes, I think that will make sense. So I think I can say this is actually so in case someone has suggestions. So it says uh, uh, I had actually given a heading providing all routes using a file, but Ellen says this is not correct because if when you provide file this will be using the route file uh, meaning those routes will be merged with once provided via routes option and those which have been guessed so I think um, adding providing additional routes using a file makes sense so let's see I mean uh, of course Ellen will uh, give me his opinion once I'm checking this so providing additional routes via file via okay so i'm using a file not via because dave doesn't like it so and then what we have is uh, providing all rights okay so you can provide routes using a file to generate a static pages this okay again i have used static pages but um, this is okay here i think this method is useful if you have many different values uh, such as multiple records in database so let's see a diff multiple records so he says rather than multi more parameters many more parameters where is that this many more parameters so it says rather than more many more parameters use different values yeah because uh, uh, this is additional routes right so you can also pass hyphen hyphen routes uh, option and which of course uh, has a restriction right i mean you cannot pass like 100 records there yeah actually I i'm thinking about saying i need a internet to set up for streaming on youtube by sharing my screen and cam uh, i'm sure last you can do it by obs but I'll, the problem with actually hd streaming is sometime your internet behaves weird and there might be some lag I think yes different values if you have many different values many more parameters different value sounds odd actually if you have many or can I say large number of options I think large number of values I think if you have large number of values but how many I mean again so it's not uh, 
so i think i'll keep large number of values so rather than actually different values because it doesn't it it sounds weird actually while reading it so probably if you have large number of values such as multiple records in database i think it makes sense and then what we have here so to provide routes route file to by the way does uh, it have a txt file does the extension make a difference i think yes it's a txt file because this is what values maybe routes i don't understand what are the values yeah actually you're right so if this method is full if you have large number of uh, large number of routes something like this it would be a large number of ah if you have a large number of routes such as multiple records in database such as multiple records multiple yeah sounds good let's see i mean i'm still uh, not sure about this this term because it says such as multiple records in a database but then we are mentioning uh, useful if you have large number of routes generated from a database but uh, of course that's something such as multiple records so we are fetching the records from the database it's not like we are generating the records so or something in that direction yeah it makes sense but such as multiple records mm. okay so let's see uh, what you, how you can rephrase it so you can provide a routes using a file to generate static pages this method is useful if you have large number of routes uh, large number of routes such as can we say such as mm, product details such as for example right so such as uh, product details or let's let's take an example of e-commerce application where we have a uh, static page to generate for each and every product so what we can say is such as multiple number of products which is available in database so let's try and try that out i mean of course uh, I will get some opinion from George or Alan. So, mm, multiple products or uh, multiple products, multiple projects, products in or large number of routes such as multiple products, uh, products and again something. Something is missing. You can provide routes using a file to generate static pages. This method is useful if you have large number of routes, uh, of routes to be generated. So let's say large number of routes to be generated, or large number of routes to be to be. Mm, yep. Let's say generated, such as multiple product or such as. product details for an e-commerce application right so we are also giving an example where it can be useful e-commerce application which may come from uh external source external source something like this external a uh, source a uh, database or cms and because it does a uh, lot of lot of uh, e-commerce application also uses cms where they store their information so i think it makes sense so let's see to provide a uh, route routes using a file use the route file and okay so alan says it's route hyphen file option with a name uh with the name of txt file containing the routes okay so this is i think this line to provide route hyphen uh, so this is i think why 
they, they move to from camel case to hyphen case this is what they are doing so route file does not exist right anymore okay so uh, route file option with I think I can just copy it route file option with the name of a txt file containing the routes I think it has to be txt file because that's what I learned last time when I was uh, trying this in Anglo Universal what's the time okay and then we have uh, I think there are a few more uh, I think I'll be able to wrap it up probably okay so uh, I think uh, what the next line to provide routes using a file to create this file you can fetch the list of IDs using node.js and create a route txt file with a value such as the following uh, and to create this file you can fetch give me a second comment about which one so this is route file yeah I, I actually included this this is here so a route this was f capital so now it is hyphen hyphen route hyphen file okay so uh, I think we can keep it because it's not necessary to use node.js yeah exactly it how about something like this for example you can generate this file by using a script which makes sense to extract IDs from a database and save them to a routes.txt file this sounds great rather than actually mentioning that you have to use node.js to create this file I think this is the So, to for example, you could generate, you could generate this file by using a script to extract IDs from a database and save them to route.txt. Okay. And then we have, okay, this is code example which I have to include. So. When your .txt file is ready, run the following command to pre-render the static files with dynamic values. And okay, again, uh, this is sh, not bash. Uh, you can also pass specific routes to the pre-render command if you choose this option. Make sure to disable the guess routes option, uh, which is here. Pre-rendering specific routes. So this is also possible but you have to make sure that you disable guess routes otherwise it will be additional so uh, this is sh and you can pre-render dynamic routes for example uh, pro provide additional routes in the command line so uh, rather than actually provide additional routes where is that Here it is providing additional routes so as providing additional routes in the command line okay and what else, what else we have uh, so ng app name pre-render I think this is guess hyphen hyphen guess routes but uh, avoid documentation okay avoid documenting camel case arguments these are deprecated and this is what I was referring to because I saw a PR where camel case arguments are being deprecated so it won't be uh, available in future versions so command line so you have additional routes here pre-render hyphen hyphen routes but it is referring to line number 61 which is available here so guess routes so I have to use hyphen hyphen no guess routes else we have so universal would it be worth mentioning the pre-render script and point to the pre-rendering guide here this is universal so let's go back to universal because of course 
it also includes some part of pre-rendering information so uh, use this command to run the application locally for testing you should not execute this command on remote machine and it runs the node server on your local machine but you can pre-render script and mm. 09 so let's go ahead and see what's there npm run ss uh, r and then i mentioned pre-rendering script and point the pre-rendering guide here i think we should start by explaining covering what is pre-render okay makes sense rather than actually just saying this is available uh, why I chose this? I because of course I don't remember now. It's been a year, so pre-rendering static pages. Okay, back to okay. How should I include pre-rendering here? So npm useful scripts. Okay, because pre-rendering is one of the scripts which is available here, so it makes sense to actually include pre-rendering here. So let's see pre-rendering npm run pre-render which is another script npm run pre-render and then we should write a little bit about pre-rendering but i can say this uh, script uh, can be used to pre-render the pages uh, you can read more about pre rendering rendering here so i think I, this is where i can give a link to pre rendering which is guide slash pre rendering so guide slash pre rendering hmm. okay uh, there is no spelling mistakes let's see P -p 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 -p. So this is pre-rendering right slash hmm. uh, okay so as a angular universal uh, I think we should start by explaining covering what is pre-render so Okay, let's see pre-rendering static pre-rendering a static page pre-rendering pre-rendering a static page this is also available here and just duplicate information so let's see this should be moved on the top why true why do it why use server side rendering okay can you kindly this okay let's let's mention the full list option browser target server target route files route guess route num processes number of cpus to use by default target to build okay what else we have here so as a final uh, this should start by explaining what is pre-render okay uh, Let's, let's try to do that build option for pre-rendering let's include first all the options which we have so route files routes uh, routes file uh, which is already covered route guess route right click sold because schema.json mm, schema.ts so this is routes file okay let's see server target yeah. 
and what else we had server target and browser target and there was another called num processes Defaults to all, but defaults to all, but one minimum. Okay, minimum is one, and browser target. No, this is num processes. Uh, so what we can do is specify the number of CPUs to be used while running pre rendering command then what we have browser target is target to build and server target is used for pre rendering the app browser target specify the target to build I think this is uh, mostly used for all the, uh, this is also used for ng build as well, so build a browser target, but server, server target is something which we use here while SSR, server target to use for pre rendering the app, specify, so this is optional, but uh, mm -hmm. And this is also already mentioned, so you don't have to do this. It is already mentioned inside your script, so I think specify the server tra server target server target to you to use for pre-rendering. I mean, we can just use the same. I think pre-rendering the app. Uh, let's use application. So. Hmm. Pre-rendering static pages. Hmm. I have also mentioned pre-rendering a static page here, so doesn't it duplicate the headings? To pre-render a static page, run the following command. So I'll say okay, pre-rendering static pages, and here what we can do? Pre-render a static page, run the following command. Probably I should mention something else here. Command to pre-render a static page. Mm. Pre-rendering static pages. And this is command to pre-render a static page. I mean anyways, we are not covering what is pre-rendering here we are just mentioning the command so i'll say command to pre-render static page this is done so okay i think explaining what is pre-rendering okay so or is it uh curious to what a target is it is a path would be nice to specify or is it target from angular.json so this is something uh okay let me just open the ssr i think i should have a pr available or branch available github profile no branches repository SSR, hmm. Angular SSR. So here uh, in your Angular.json, right? So you have multiple targets defined. Where is that? Hmm. So uh, these are. Uh, where is that? So, so uh, these are your targets. So you generally it is like your application, and then uh, the what uh, architect build option. So this is your application name and colon the build uh, colon build. 
this is something which you specify uh, as browser target and it should be available other way, other at other places as well so build. so here you have dev server target right but generally uh, this is your application name and what command you want to be, uh, you want to run so this is how it looks like in server it's server target so you can see there should be a server target as well dev server target and server okay uh, this dev server target is no this is server target right so server target is not available here probably it is added in some other server target to use for pre-entering the app what is this server target browser target i mean generally you don't have to specify it it's just by default available so once once you uh, add angular universal to your application these options will be already added you don't have to specify those but i'm just wondering where uh, server target is because i i, I create this application at time of angular 9 and uh, there is no option for server target but browser target is of course something which is available in your uh, normal application as well i mean without ssr as well and for server this this is the build builder and these are the options so, but server where is server target i'm just wondering because there is something called dev server target and this is also being used for e2e probably i'll create a new application and see what's that but uh, you don't have to worry about it because it will be added automatically when you do ng add okay let's go back and see what pre-rendering is right so uh, pre-render the pages uh, okay so when you do server side rendering what happens is your request goes to server entire page is generated on server and then it is served but when you do pre-rendering pre-rendering is a process where your page will be converted to a static page and it will be available as a static page on your server itself so you don't have to go ahead and build it every time so let's try to probably rephrase this word so angular universal allows you to pre-render pages uh, pre-rendering uh, is a process uh, is a process where your pages your page is processed as static page at the build time right so because this is what pre-rendering is right so rather than actually serving your page or convert i mean processing your page at at server which generally happens in in, in angular ssr in pre-rendering what you do is your pre, in pre-rendering we your page is processed as as a static page at the build time so you don't have to uh, process this process this page again uh, whenever you make a request uh, static page at build time uh, there is no I mean once you have mentioned static page I think it doesn't make sense to add anything else but let's see I mean I'm sure Ellen will have some suggestion here as well uh, okay so this is done this is done uh, this should be moved on the top because of course why use SSR startup uh, JavaScript SEO filtering request APIs okay so let's see uh, what we have is we have mentioned the scripts before so we are mentioning universal tutorial and then universal in action and then useful script so what Alan says is uh, first we mention we should mention why use server-side rendering and then we should have the option so i think it makes sense because of course we should tell the users first what 
angular universal is before mentioning the commands so let's move universal tutorial universal in action and then useful scripts so we just move this useful scripts from here so a co okay and then we improve performance show the first page quickly universal web servers and working around the web apis universal template engine filtering request urls and serving static files safely using absolute urls and i think this is uh, should be here useful scripts at the end after mentioning everything so uh here again so i think this is this is already done probably pre-rendering universal pre-rendering the uh, hyphen hyphen route file hmm. i think i changed it before no not this one so i have to change routes file okay so done so these were the comments uh, and let's see what is the commit message because uh, george said just go ahead and change the commit message as well and what i had written was update universal talk so what i can do is add uh, universal add documentation for universal scripts and pre-rendering something like that yeah finally okay so let's do git add and then get november 2020 i think that was uh, th uh, okay that was the last time actually i looked at this pr but uh, i raised this pr if i'm not wrong in feb 2020 ah march 2020 so yeah so i raised it in march 2020 as i said right so angular 9 was getting released and I was learning about Angular and Universal and then I realized okay there are a few things which are oh wow I didn't realize that almost a year I mean of course this is what open source is right so sometime it takes a lot of time to finish stuff get commit fnm so I have to say docs and I think I have to also mention uh, which uh, which area I am targeting at because Mm -hmm. contributing because I remember last time they said they have done some changes to uh, for docs because earlier it was it, it was fine in case I just mentioned docs but I think uh, now there are uh, scopes which are added to docs as well so you have docs and the scopes are this so uh, service worker platform browser upgrade uh, router compiler okay so let's see uh, there are a few exception use package name dev infra ve okay i want to do it for universal but universal is platform server probably so let's move it as platform server docs and then scope is platform yeah oh okay i just yeah, platform server looks closest, but uh, probably I'll uh, ask them to actually add one more. Uh, see what are the comments. Did. I mean, Angular Universal is not updated from a year, so I am sure you will not find anything. Add it. Um, Add Commands. For universal and add pre-rendering page pre-rendering um, info and it's okay do I have any open issues for this I think I did okay fixes 
three six double zero four three six double zero four. Three six double zero four. Okay, three six double zero four. Okay, let's force push now, so I can say get push F and F. And so I'm sure there will be some more uh, suggestions because there were few points which were not clear. So let's see. I mean, whenever I get those. Suggestions I can also check out hyphen hyphen force with please for me. Okay, and this is the advantage of doing something in public, you get to learn something new. So it says outdated. Outdated. It means my changes are up now. And let's go ahead and see the commit. So I did commands for user and and pre-rendering. Okay, I made a small typo. Pre-rendering info. Uh, but I think it should be okay. Cool. Okay, so force with lease for next time, so it will not push if somebody added commits on top of this. Generally, no one does. Uh, in Angular uh, repository, I've never seen someone actually pushing some changes on my branch. So, safe here, so I don't have to do that. Cool. So, this is okay. So, let's after November, after like four months almost, I did this changes. I'm not sure it was reviewed recently. Okay, it was re reviewed recently 17 days ago. So I'm not that behind not far behind. So because I remember dev actually gave some comments in September, which I resolved in November and now. Uh, but okay, so if you suggest some, but uh, it will create multiple comments, right? I and mean, that's the problem, isn't it? I'm not sure. I mean, uh, so if I commit suggestion from here, I think it will commit for each suggestions. I'm not sure. I mean, I have never uh, used it generally. Great. So this is uh, done for Angular. Now let's see if I can do it for uh, there was another PR which I was working on for Lumberjack and okay worth trying <laughs> okay in case I have less number of uh, uh, suggestions then I can try it out so this is another uh, PR which I was working on this is related to Lumberjack I'm, uh, I'm sure uh, you might have heard about Lumberjack in case you are not so let me just walk you through quickly uh, Lars did a live stream last night so in case you want to check that out you can go to Twitch and lazy I hope this uh, uh, here it is. Here it is. So you can just go to this uh, handle of Lars. So he actually uh, did live streaming last night. I have to just go ahead and check. Adding Lumberjack to an Angular application. So this is this is a logging library which we are working on. And uh, there was one of the PR which I had started long back. So let's see uh, if we can do something here. So let me just tell you what this is. This. Uh, this task which I'm working on right now. So let's go back to the PR, create a feature logger schematic. So I right now, uh, in case you want to write your own logger, uh, you have to go ahead and overwrite some classes. You have to probably 
follow some template which we have so once we uh, have this PR what you can do is you can ju just do ng generate and it will create some files for you and then you can write your code on top of it so let's go ahead and see what I had done so far so libs ng worker schematic so this is log driver schematic and these are the files which should be created once we do uh, or once we run the generate command so we can do just do ng generate and then uh, command is this is log driver so you can say ng generate our uh, package name colon log driver and it will and you have to pass a name for your uh, log driver maybe probably console or http whatever you want to name it So, uh, I had, so let's see what I had done. Uh, we uh, we actually discussed last time on something uh, related to the naming convention which we have. So let's go to the PR. Hmm, here it is. So uh, can we obtain the name of the driver from prompt and use it here instead of my log driver? Yeah. So this was something which I was discussing with Lars last time, and we had driver config token. So. I think this is the file which I am referring to token.ts so I had hard coded this const here lumberjack custom driver config token and uh, as we spoke about it so we have to say okay lumber mm. hmm. is this the file token.ts spec.ts okay okay looks different mm -hmm. so lumber check driver config just a second So I think this is a different file create a logger surface let's change this collection of JSON so create a logger service create okay rather than create a logger service and which file is this files if flat okay this is this looks really ah okay I remember I ch we changed it so and go to discard so initially we agreed on this file structure and uh, there were few less files in this but it was updated later on so I'll just go ahead and fetch the latest one hmm. This is the latest gist which we have to refer to. Okay, so uh, we have token.spec.ts and I think I was referring to this file. Okay, my lumberjack driver config which is coming from lumberjack. So I don't have to do anything there, but I think this name needs to be changed. So I think lumberjack custom driver config token rather than this, it will be. Is that classify name so it says uh, lumberjack and then uh, it will classify the name so these are some 
in case you are, you are not aware of schematic uh, there was an recently an episode i think i gave several talks on schematics and you can also follow uh, or read an article from natalia so natalia has written one blog post on schematic from zero to x zero to hero something like that uh, something like that so schematics angular let me just share the link the schematics so we have the function and the schematics and the index and the angular schematics from zero to publishing your own library this is really a cool uh, blog post on angular schematics in case you want to get started with so read this out and here what we have to do is this classify is an actually uh, util uh, if you go to uh, let me just tell you from where it comes so there is a strings util which is available in angular dev kit core Uh, which offers you several functions so one of the function is classify which we pass to the template so this is uh, in apply templates whatever parameter you pass this is something which is accessible inside your template so i can just directly do classify which is of course coming from uh, strings utility which we have and then passing the name which we will accept from a command prompt so it will be like let's say uh, lumberjack and we pass name as console so it will be lumberjack console driver config token so here same same thing i'll apply here so i'll say okay this is custom so i'll say okay classify name and then we have i have to change this uh, at some places because earlier it was hard coded so let's see uh, here is one so lumberjack custom driver so here i have to do custom rather than custom i have to use the classify name similarly i think naming a uh, file name so here we have uh, lumberjack custom driver so i'll just change this uh, it won't be classify because uh, i think i have I have used some dasherize it will be dasherize function because we have to convert whenever we create a file name we use dasherize and uh, of course you can refer all this code inside angular repo is at, uh, as well so uh, if you go to angular cli repo you have all the schematics which is written let me just open that if let me just find that quickly so i can go to profile ah. so schematics code is something which is available inside angular cli Angular, Angular CLI, and you can go to packages, schematics, and this is where you can find all the schematics which is already written. Uh, when you do ng application, ng g up on application, you do ng g class. So all these schematics is available here. You can refer uh, to these files how they are done, and you can of course refer some examples. other place to look out for schematic is uh, you can refer to angular material as well as ngrx because they really have some nice schematics which has which is available hmm and of course uh, one repository which i missed mentioning is uh, narval so in case you go to nx rev tools you will of course find lot of uh, schematics some a lot of uh, code related to schematics there as well and now they have renamed it to generator and executors for schematics and builders so schematics is generators in case you refer to the angular repository uh, nx repository nx dev tools sorry so here is all dependency custom driver config token uh, but it won't be custom it will be classify name driver config token 
so let's see debug debug driver lumberjack driver config levels lumberjack debug and did i missed any anywhere else because lumberjack uh, lumberjack log driver config token is something which comes from ng worker so i don't have to change it let's see so this is lumberjack classify and lumberjack custom driver config this is the type so let's see if i have to okay let's change this as well probably this is also this should not contain custom log driver identifier okay and then we have this is your root module spec ng worker okay this is where custom driver so i have to change this to lumberjack custom driver rather than which file is this so hyphen driver i don't think so i have any file with this name so driver dash rise lumberjack log drivers okay this is the file okay driver and what is the file name lumberjack custom driver so i think i have to go ahead and change lumberjack custom driver to what or it should be the same uh, log driver will remain same i think i don't have to change it cool so optional dependency module config token let's see if i have something to change here so dash rise driver config token i think uh, this is this is something where i have to replace uh, driver config token lumberjack custom driver config Mm. config is where is that file config.ts okay this will be also changed so i have to change this to lumberjack classify this one and then lumberjack driver config is here custom lumberjack custom driver config this will be lumberjack driver config base number jack custom driver i think this is your class and driver config token driver factory provide this use custom factory custom driver factory which is this let's see if i have to change some at some other places custom driver config is fine and then number jack custom driver which is which refers to the class driver root module this is okay this is okay let's see other files i think this is driver config so yeah, this custom shouldn't be here custom driver it refers to the class so i think this is fine and driver config let's do this let's change this also as classify because lumberjack name of the class yep makes sense so config is here lumberjack do i need to change anything else doesn't look like lumberjack driver config this is also okay this refers to this one from the internal library so i don't have to change this and lumberjack custom so wherever we have custom i think we will be replacing it with whatever name you provide so i have to be a little bit careful where i change it probably i'll change check this one with lars or ah uh, that's a challenge of course but i i saw there is something which is available for a ds dot template there is a way there is a way in case you want syntax highlighting actually you can remove dot template but so if you remove this dot template it it becomes a ts file and then you start getting this weird error because everything is like this syntax is something which of course your ts won't be able to read but uh, of course now i have an habit of reading this file so hmm so here we have them. okay so let's run this uh, schematic now so what i have done is yeah so don't do dot ts so earlier uh, it was 
I think uh, till Angular 5, there was no dot template which was available. It was, I remember it was around 6 or 7, Angular 6 or 7, they uh, started using dot template to avoid uh, the compilation of these files as well. Earlier, earlier the issue was this, all files were we used to be like dot ts, dot html, dot uh, ts and uh, sorry, dot css, right? So in case you have anything inside files, it will be executed as part of your build process. So they moved on to this dot template uh, just to avoid the, uh, just, uh, just to avoid so it won't be compiled with your uh, build process. I mean, of course, there was a way you can actually exclude these files, but an overhead, right? Yeah, so let's see, uh, let's run the test cases and see. Generally, uh, the best way to actually uh, figure out if your uh, schematic is working fine is via test cases. So I have written all the test cases here uh, to cover all the scenarios. But now what I have to do is I have to also verify each and every file if uh, the name which is generated is correct or not. So because here you can see I'm still using custom driver, probably I should rename it as well. So let's change it. So I'll say uh, lumberjack whatever logger driver or log driver. So here we have, okay, this uh, change. I think as I spoke to Nacho, he said wherever we have custom, we should replace it with your uh, name or uh, whatever name param parameter which we are taking. So here custom driver config token and then I have to change it inside the this files lumberjack custom driver lumberjack custom driver so I'll change this to mm -hmm. classify so first time when I saw this syntax uh, I'm so anyone from C-Sharp who has used this particular syntax, I think uh, not in uh, MVC, but ASP.NET. So in ASP.NET, we used to have this particular syntax, if I'm not wrong. I'm not sure if it's still being used, but first time I saw this syntax, I was like, okay, this is this looks similar to ASP.NET. Custom driver, I think identifier log critical okay this is driver identifier okay so driver identifier is this one okay lumberjack custom driver okay cool so let's let's do this one and i think we don't have use factory custom driver okay so here uh, i think custom factory right so custom logger factory okay what was the name earlier so let's see so we had custom driver factory so it should be logger driver factory so yep makes sense so this is classified uh, driver but I don't think so we will be using classify let's see what are the different other functions which we have L strings Hmm. decamelize which is you know, underscore dash rise camelize and classify underscore capitalize is something in a okay no I don't need Levestin is string a okay I think I can use decamelize no camelize yeah, I think I can use camelize here Camelize uh -uh. yeah, driver factory and then I have to use the same Camelize driver factory Lumberjack custom driver config token I think this is again custom so I have to use your classify name custom lumberjack log driver config token which is coming from lumberjack so I think uh, camelize classify classify 
I think uh, backbone also is it uh, with underscore number. Yeah, Camilla is because I have to change. Uh, I have to uh, use something from which starts from small, right? Small characters. So it is coming from strings, as as uh, you can go ahead and see this string utility al already contains some functions. This is from where I am actually using this uh, dasherize uh, classify. So it also contains a method called Camelize, just to make sure that okay my uh, factories start with camel case. Okay, let's let's see. Let's run the uh, spec now, and I will also just read the file, one of the file, just to make sure that everything looks perfect. Probably this will be the perfect one. Root module dot ts. So let's see. I'll just do here. Uh, uh, console. Uh -huh. uh, console dot log. I can do tree dot files dot rather than actually doing that I can just directly pass the file and read the content so I can say read content and pass the file name so I'm projects bar console The file which I want to read is dash root dot lumberjack driver console driver. Hyphen. Okay, let's copy this. console driver root module dot ts okay this, so this is the file which i want to read and see the contents of this particular file yep. testing let's see uh, okay should i run here let's let's open a new command prompt watch so let's see I think it should okay uh, somehow it is not able to recognize to run all the test cases looks like ah uh, not sure so let's <laughs> let's run it the blue uh, enter to trigger a test run I have to run fail test is 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 good to okay I'll just quit the watch mode because I'm not sure it is saying it is let's run ng test and see so it is running all the test cases we have like 100 percent code coverage for lumberjack including uh, unit test and end to end test cases okay so we got some error what is this expected string is this because I changed the name ah okay cool and it's it's my fault but let's verify the names right so it says lumberjack console driver config at least uh, the thing which I wanted to do is just change this names as per the name parameter which we have so I would say 
it's like 50% or like 80% is successful because I have to just change these names across at, uh, in the test uh, expectations as well. What I wanted to do right now is just make sure wherever we have custom, we are taking the name parameter. So here I'm taking a name as console and replace everything which is custom with the name. So that's successful. So I will count it as a win. And let's uh, change the test cases now. So only how many, how many got failed? There are several. Okay. There are three which got failed. Uh, okay. Let's see. So the first one is this, of course, because uh, this lumberjack custom driver config token does not exist anymore. It's console driver config token. So I'm sure Lars and uh, Nacho is going to be really happy because finally this PR is coming to an end. So of course, I have to still go ahead and write end-to-end um, -end test cases. And last knows how how uh, I'm, I'm I'm really a big fan of test cases and last knows it, so. Lumberjack custom. Uh, so let's search for custom here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so should be hmm, here. So custom driver, which is name changed to console. So here it should be console. Here it should be. console and do we have anything uh, at any other places so here so it's again console driver this is fine mm, i think this name is console and same here so it should be same console and this is what i love about schematics i mean it, of course it's uh, easy to write but it's easy to test as well so you don't have to waste a lot of time actually doing and uh, easy to act of course i mean uh, they they expose some apis by using which you can easily uh what you can say uh, set up your test cases for schematics so this is before each this is three or four lines of code uh, which you have to call and these are the option which i'm passing so you can see name console uh, which is being used everywhere so let's see and it says successful is it okay there is one again mm -hmm. let's clear i'm not sure how many got successful but mm -hmm. let's test. let's go to file if i left anything configuration driver driver so it is i hope there is nothing called con okay so everywhere it's name underscore at the red dash array so i have not kept console or custom anywhere in the file name itself so we're good let's go to our command prompt and one got failed what it's saying is lumberjack custom driver config token and it says lumberjack custom okay so this is console driver but this name is not changed which file is this okay i think lumberjack console driver dot ts so lumberjack console driver dot ts this is the file and i think okay this is custom right so i have to change this as well so i have to use dash rise here and then change the path names so let's copy from here dash rise and here lumberjack custom rather than custom we have to use dash rise and let's run it again I don't know whether there is a specific style for any project as you see injection different names capitalized since they are const. I think, uh, but again, right? So const doesn't need to be in capital. I have seen a lot of, uh, I mean, even I, I, I got some comments that you shouldn't be using capital for your token names. It's not required. 
it's okay if you name it in different ways hmm. so now we have one field which is this one should create path but i remember we used to follow the uh, uh, the camel casing right so not camel casing but caps as a, as the name so here again console okay so i just left console here i think we are almost done now something else so number check console driver console consoles okay just left an extra s and the name is console driver okay so we are good to go now and check test and hope it is done so i can write end to end test cases which i am not really uh, comfortable with but i have to refer some end to end test cases which is already written yay finally so schematics are done we have all the test cases which is passing and uh, made all the changes as well so i think it's up to nacho now to verify if i am doing something wrong uh, so let's see, see the file let's see uh, 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 okay there is one test case which is getting failed again let's see what we have done here so should create file name it says expected string is lumberjack console driver config token and from this consoles okay where did i left again consoles i oh, know i think this is the older one this is the latest one so uh, let's clear it hey nacho uh, we were just talking about you so remember the uh, the comments which we discussed about so custom replacing custom with the name so i'm just fixing it i think almost done so i'll just push it and probably you can review it later yeah looks good so 100% uh, passed and let's see if i if i did a console dot log here and somehow this file is not available why so tree dot read read content so we are projects bar src app console log driver lumberjack console driver dot okay log driver i'm okay i'm reading from an incorrect folder so i have to say configuration i just want to make sure that the file name is correct which is correct i know but sure i mean uh, you have to review it later <laughs> so once i push the changes almost done uh, with all the changes so uh, i had left a few few naming convention which was wrong right so we had this lumberjack custom driver so we and a lot of places dr custom driver config token so i just replaced it, everything with the correct naming convention probably the thing which you have to verify is the naming convention so here for example this right so you have to make sure that console console and the file exists probably uh so lumberjack custom driver this okay so we got an error so here right so this is custom driver which is not correct so let's go ahead and fix this here so he this log i have to use uh, classify probably classify here so let's change this custom driver to classify and uh, let's find if we have custom anywhere else custom yeah that's one custom driver root module which i have to change again so i have to say custom other custom classify name lumberjack custom this again uh, goes to lumberjack custom by jack custom driver root module so i'll just replace the custom here driver root registered in the multiple injectors i think uh, specs also needs to be updated or i already did that root module classify root module so my log driver root module this is incorrect right so i have to change this path so 
I think this lumberjack driver root module this is what the name should be so I'll just change this spec.ts lumberjack driver root module and same goes here module dot name root module expect new again this needs to be changed and here root module don't and this path so I have to change this path to uh, log drivers I think we are in same repository so uh, sorry same folder so I have to change this to lumberjack uh, maybe you want to include the lumberjack for example some might not start to travel with lumberjack and want something like space travel instead of lumberjack space travel ah, okay so probably you uh, you are talking about this right so right now it's lumberjack whatever name you provide driver so if we say lumber uh, console so it will be lumberjack console driver so you're saying rather than lumberjack console driver we should keep it as console driver this is what you want so space driver okay okay cool I can change that let me just fix the spec file but first so I'll lumberjack and then you have to say hyphen your uh, okay file naming so dasherize dasherize hyphen uh, you have root dot module okay so this is good to go now so we don't have any problems here but as Nacho is doing live review here so let's change this lumberjack to classify driver and then uh, it implements lumberjack dr log driver and uh, mm, I think it's get it gets used somewhere inside the driver module and uh, root module I think Lock drivers and I have to drop this now and the file naming is okay ah no problem Nacho so anyways live coding is fine so uh, okay so driver lumberjack mm, where is that classify it makes sense I mean actually uh, if, if this this file is going to be used by developers right so uh, I think naming the class with lumberjacks lumberjack will actually give a impression that this file belongs to lumberjack so here also lumberjack driver full config lumberjack driver root module this is fine lumberjack root module this is also fine let's let's run the test cases again though I love test cases I mean if someone else writes it because it becomes easy to verify your, te your tests right I mean your changes I'm just kidding I mean. cool uh, so here we have console driver here also it is console driver lumberjack console driver and so now choose just a question do, so uh, should we drop lumberjack from the file name also because if we are dropping the name from this class I think uh, we should also drop this from lumberjack uh, I mean from the file name itself so let's move let's remove this so I'll just keep it as underscore underscore name dasherize and probably have to change it at few places so one is this one uh, lumberjack dasherize and let's see if we have in anywhere else lumberjack I think no um, 
okay that that was only place looks like okay this is one and I have to change this number jack to classify custom driver number check and then this will be okay this is this also this file which this driver dot module dot spec dot ts okay so we have driver dot module as well as well as spec dot ts okay i was um, okay somehow i left this file number check custom number check custom this is custom dash rise and driver let's see where it is being used so you have lumberjack here con config which of course goes to this lumberjack custom driver module which shouldn't be custom driver module anymore so it will be again classify uh, uh, thanks KJ so I mean, I just wanted to test my uh, my uh, setup, OBS setup, and I wanted to do a live stream from long time. So, thought of doing today. I have some free time. So, thanks a lot for joining. And Nacho, so of course, next time we can actually do uh, a pair programming. Number check module. Actually, I'm I'm thinking about something similar. Uh, probably uh, once once I start streaming the uh, Angular Basic course, so I'm thinking about actually bringing some developers who have some expertise in some some of the topics. Right? For example, test. If I have to go and uh, write test, of course I'll prefer Lars by my side. So uh, I'm I'm planning something like that. Let's see if some people agrees to do that. That will be fun actually to bring experts and deep dive into a particular topic. Yeah, I mean, of course, but the only problem is uh, time zone, right? So I am into a different time zone and people, other people are in time, different time zone. Okay, custom driver. Great. Lumberjack, okay, I think uh, this custom driver, okay, this needs to be removed and now this is driver itself. Okay, just a second. custom okay so this create custom driver is something which is coming from where okay this is okay this is the const which is created here so I don't think so uh, it should be renamed it should be as it is right Nacho so should or should I just go ahead and change this as well so create custom driver to create console driver or something like that Or should I keep because this is test so let me know in case we want to change it but okay okay I'll change it create custom driver so let me just change this first so lumberjack install dependency lumberjack log driver okay this is some all built-in classes I think okay, this is coming from the library itself hmm lumberjack this is also classify name driver custom driver create custom driver so I think create as Nacho says it should be the name of the name of uh, which is which we are passing so I'll change it and this is custom driver in small lumberjack lo log driver token as unknown as lumberjack log driver i think this is internal so i don't need think this needs to be changed 
uh, the only place I think we have to change is everywhere we are passing create this function so create custom driver create custom driver create custom driver mm. so uh, I mean first time when I tried schematic it looked like a magic but it's 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 really amazing so we have to use here rather than classify I will go with Camelize. Custom again here and custom custom driver. I have to change this as well. Let's make sure that everywhere it is replaced, otherwise it will go we'll get the exception not right now because test cases will pass test cases will not check if this name is uh, I mean I, I of course I can go ahead and add those test cases here just to make sure that this is this text is uh, I mean not camel not something random text but create custom driver or create console driver whatever we are naming it as camelize and here also camelize driver expected custom driver and expect this custom driver I think okay the, this this was only instance where we were using here here okay looks perfect now so let's see if what is the content of this particular file let's add console.re here we verified the another file but let's see what is the content here so it should be console module console driver console hyphen driver uh, dot module dot spec dot ts cool testing time okay let's run it Uh, yeah, sure, Nacho. I'll I'll, I'll submit. I'll raise the uh, I mean, I'll push the changes. You can verify it. Huh? And probably I'll, uh, this is the last thing I'll do for for, for the day. Okay, so what uh, we have here is so it says okay, uh, lumberjack console driver config token. Uh, which test case is this now? So how many got failed? Three, 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 three. Okay, let's see. Hmm. So here lumberjack console drive. Okay. So now I have to go ahead and update all this. Right. So uh, this file does not exist, but this file exists. And uh, what I have to check is read content of this. Import this one. Okay. So let's see wherever we have log driver. Okay, there was only one. Let's run it again. Okay, one of two field. Okay, looks. Let's see. So uh, it says log driver. Okay, again. So some places. Uh, log driver. So I'll just change this to lumberjack. And let's here also. So I have to drop this lumberjack. Let's let's see the content of the file. So it should be available at least. Hmm, here it is. So the entire test 
so we have lumberjack console driver config console driver module create console driver this is what we needed so console driver console driver it looks perfect to me and believe me I, I would have actually not done this if I was doing it offline but somehow on live stream everything is working fine so it's actual config actual config actual config console driver console driver to be instance of console driver perfect looks looks perfect Let's and once this is done I'll just push the changes probably and remove the console.log before doing it otherwise we will have some errors so let's okay this is only console.log which we have and let's see okay now test cases looks good so this is it i'll just push this changes so get uh, commit hyphen m fix uh, fix uh, schematics schematics mm, generate schematics and it will just run the test cases and then we are good to go probably will not have any issues because we tested all the test cases are working fine and some of your task is get add command is removed from the config since all modification made by all tasks will be automatically added oh wow so let's do get push and So we have three commit hooks just to make sure that test cases are running properly on local before we push the changes but in case uh, you are looking to contribute uh, you can uh, I mean if you are sure your test cases will fail you can just use hyphen hyphen no verify just to make sure your branch is available to uh, and we can review it before uh, it gets merged and probably you can fix the test cases later on cool so this is done so uh, made all the changes to uh, this generate schematic as well which which is again pending from a lo long time and yeah that's it that's it for the day so probably i'll uh, start streaming more because now I, I know obs better than i used to know before so as as we discussed the another concept bringing the people live and then doing something probably writing test cases or something like that so yep, thanks for joining on Sunday and see you later. Bye bye.